Oh, that's man will praise the Lord. Oh, that's man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, to the children of men. He has broken the gates of brass. And cut the bass of iron asunder. Hey! We're going to read the verse later on. Hey, this is the Streams of Joy International Daily Devotion brought to you by Priceless. And today is the 16th of June, 2023. And our topic is Ahead of Time. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah chapter 45, verse 2. I will go before thee. And make the crooked places straight. I will break the gates. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. You see the song we just sang, yeah? And cut in sunder the bars of iron. Hey, hey, who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Who is the Lord fighting for? Ha! Recast what the Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our focus scripture is taken from Psalm chapter 23, verse 2. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Hallelujah. So in our focus scripture, the psalmist speaks of how the shepherd makes him to lie down in green pastures. In Bible times, the nation of Israel didn't quite have a rebel land. And most shepherds had to irrigate an area where they planted a pasture for the sheep. At this point, the sheep would have still not been ready to start eating grass, but the grass is planted ahead of time. What the sheep needs in the future is made ready ahead of time. Did you get that? Friend, hear me as I hear the Lord. God is planting the pasture that you need for your tomorrow. That's why he said, be still my daughter, be still my son. For I am walking. He said he will go ahead of you and make every crooked way straight. So why bother? Why stress? Why be afraid? Hey, am I talking to somebody this morning? I think I'm talking to myself actually. God is creating your next level. Mm -hmm. Even that level that you think is going to end in the next few minutes. He is actually creating a better one for you. Did I just make your feet, your faith lift up? Mm -hmm. I'm actually talking to myself right now because like this word is for me, like it's for me. God has planted the next level for you. Do you understand? He has already placed it for you because he has gone ahead of you. <laughs> God has planted the next level you are about to attain. God is already making arrangements for the future that is still to manifest. God is making arrangements for the new season that is yet to unfold. And before I wrap up, today is prayers, 7 a.m. on the dot. Do not think it twice to join so that you can fully move yourself to that next level. Just check the captions for more details by the time we're done with this devotion. God is making arrangements for your next 10 years of your life, for the next 10 years of your life. God is arranging your future. You may not know what tomorrow holds, but the one who holds tomorrow, who knows the end from the beginning, has already begun to arrange for you the pasture you need for tomorrow. Your next level is already prepared. If you can take care of the beds of the skies, <laughs> how much more you, his daughter, how much more you, his son. Your new season is already set up. The helpers you need are already lined up waiting for you at the point where you will need them your clients are already divinely positioned for you in your tomorrow your future pasture has already been planted hallelujah you will not arrive at the future and be stranded no way because the lord has gone ahead of you it's a reminder you will not arrive at the future and be bereft of opportunities for increase and sustenance you will not arrive at the future and start seeking for the pasture that will sustain you you will not come to a point where you will have nothing to live on or survive with your future will not be empty never that is not our reality you will not arrive at major destiny junctions and start seeking endlessly for help never 
walk out to that season where the things you need for life and godliness will be laid on your pathway ahead of time. Walk out to that season where the pasture that God ordained for you will be waiting for you until you arrive. Let us boldly and combatantly declare, before I arrive, my pastures will be waiting for me in Jesus' name. Amen. Do want to join us for our 7 a.m. prayers. And if you like this video, share that the gospel spread. And welcome new subscribers. Thank you for the love. You have an amazing weekend. And um, Sunday. Okay, just check the captions for more details about Sunday studies. First, second, third, fourth series. Is it you who is going to be in church on Sunday? I know you don't want to miss service on Sunday. All right. So have an amazing day. Bye.